so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Whoa! And it looks like there's a dino behind me! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Dinosaur! <laughs> Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? <laughs> yeah! It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex, or T-Rex! <laughs> they were really big dinosaurs, 40 feet long, 12 feet tall, <laughs> and lived a really long time ago. <laughs> I like T-Rexes because they have really big heads and really teeny tiny arms. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find some more dinosaurs. Woo. Check it out! <laughs> We're here at a dig site, yeah, where we can dig up and discover fossils! <laughs> oh, good thing I have my trusty brush. Yeah, when you're digging up fossils, you don't want to use a shovel or your hands. You want to use a brush so it's nice and gentle. Because breaking a fossil could mean losing precious information for a scientific discovery! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we basically don't want to break the fossils. Well, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Ooh, let's see what we can find. Oh, brushing away. <laughs> Brush. Whoa. Whoa. Check it out. It's a fossil. <laughs> I wonder if this is a dinosaur. What kind of creature this could be? Whoa. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. Are those fingers? Whoa, <laughs> this looks really cool. Gotta keep brushing. Whoa. Did you know that people who work to study dinosaurs are called paleontologists? <laughs> yeah, I really like dinosaurs, but not a paleontologist. Yeah, paleontologists, they know all about fossils and dinosaurs. Whoa, they study dinosaurs every day. <laughs> That's a lot of dinosaurs. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> it's a dinosaur bone. Whoa, it looks like we found a foot and we found the body. <laughs> I wonder what's over here. Oh, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Look, we found its face. Hello. <laughs> Hello, little dinosaur. Well, this isn't a little dinosaur. This looks like a big dinosaur. It looks like a Stegosaurus. <laughs> Hello, Stegosaurus. Whoa, that's awesome. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> this looks like a really, really big bone. But this isn't a bone, it's a fossil. Hello. <laughs> yeah, well, a fossil might look like a bone, but what happens is a bone falls on the ground and then dirt and mud covers it up. <laughs> then that bone decomposes, it goes away. But there's still that space where the bone was and sediment and different material fills it up and turns into a rock. And then a really long time in the future, <laughs> we find it just like this. And that's a fossil that scientists can use to learn about dinosaurs. <laughs> Whoa, check this one out. <laughs> this is a really small fossil. Huh, hmm, this doesn't really look like a dinosaur. Hmm, doesn't really look like a bone either. I wonder what it is. Ooh, I don't know what this is, but I bet if we ask, a dino expert can tell us. <laughs> hey, let's go find a dino expert. Hmm, I wonder what this is. <laughs> Whoa. I really wish I knew what this fossil was. Hmm, Ooh, I see someone, maybe they know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hi Blippi, I'm Kevin, oh. and I'm a dino expert. Whoa, no way! It is so nice to meet you, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's a dino expert. Maybe he knows what this is a fossil of. <laughs> Whoa, well Kevin, we found this fossil, but I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, I can totally tell you what this is. This is actually a tooth of an Edmontosaurus. Oh, a tooth? <laughs> Whoa, we didn't know what it was, but it's a tooth of an Edmontosaurus? That's right, yeah, that's this animal right here. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> the Edmontosaurus is so big! <laughs> oh, and look, it does have some teeth up there, and 
It looks like it has a duck bill. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> yeah, that duck bill was actually used to peck at leaves and pull them off the trees. Whoa, that is amazing. Huh, did it just eat leaves or other things too? Uh, no, this was an herbivore, which means it only eats plants. Whoa, yeah. Some dinosaurs were herbivores. <laughs> that means they like to eat lots of plants, but others were carnivores. <laughs> they like to eat meat, and some were omnivores. Yeah, that means they eat meat and vegetables and leaves and plants. <laughs> Whoa, oh, but this tooth looks like lots of teeth. Is this just one tooth? This is just one tooth. It looks like that because uh, this Edmatosaurus used to grind up its food to make it easier to eat. Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, that kind of reminds me of a cow. <laughs> Whoa, that's a pretty cool Edmatosaurus. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Its legs are so big. <laughs> looks like it's really good at walking. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. It used to walk on all fours, but if it needed to get higher, uh, like to get trees, leaves off of the trees, uh, it would stand up on two legs to get more height. Wow, did you hear that? <laughs> it could stand up just like you and me, or walk on all fours just like a little puppy dog. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, and I had one other question, Kevin. Yeah? Do all dinosaurs walk on the land? They do, actually. Oh, yeah. Well, what about dinosaurs that fly in the air or are in the water? Those actually aren't considered dinosaurs. They're oh. called prehistoric creatures. Whoa, prehistoric creatures. Whoa, <laughs> man, I really hope I can see a prehistoric creature one day. <laughs> hmm. Well, do you know of any prehistoric creatures? I do actually have another one right here. And you know what? He's a little lonely. <gasps> he needs a friend. Whoa, check it out. It's a prehistoric creature. Whoa. <laughs> and what kind of creature is this? This one's a trilobite. Whoa, a trilobite. <laughs> oh, well, we need to find this trilobite a friend. <laughs> well, thank you, Kevin, for showing me the trilobite and this amazing dinosaur. <laughs> this was so much fun. <laughs> I'll see you later, Kevin. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's go find a friend. <laughs> Whoa! There are so many amazing fossils here, just like our little trilobite. Hello! <laughs> yeah, keep your eye out. We might need to find him a friend. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> oh, there's a person. Maybe they can help us. Hi! Hi, Blippi. I'm Laura. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Laura. <gasps> Whoa, and what is that? This is a trilobite, a really big one. Whoa, look! We have a little small trilobite and a really, really big one. <laughs> so big! And I bet they're gonna be great friends. Oh, yeah. Hey, good friends like to dance. Let's do the trilobite dance. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> these trilobites are really good dancers. <laughs> wow, this is a really amazing fossil. Yeah, and these trilobites, they lived underwater? They did, they are prehistoric arthropods, which means that they're related to bugs and crabs. Whoa, did you hear that? This isn't a dinosaur, no. A trilobite is an arthropod? An arthropod. <laughs> Whoa, that is a really big name. It <laughs> is. But it just means that the trilobite is a really, really old bug. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Laura, is this a dinosaur? No, actually, this is a prehistoric marine reptile. <laughs> Whoa, a prehistoric marine reptile? So it's not a dinosaur? No, it's not. Dinosaurs lived on land, but oh. there are other creatures that flew in the sky and swam in the sea, like yeah. this one. This is Tylosaurus. Ooh, hello, Tylosaurus. <laughs> hey, this is a Tylosaurus. This is a Tylosaurus. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Tylosaurus. Ooh, let's give it a name. We should call this Tylosaurus Tyler. <laughs> I think that's a great name. Hello, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> oh, and it looks like Tyler has a lot of teeth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and do you see? Tyler is really, really big. <laughs> he looks almost as big as a T-Rex. <laughs> he is. He's almost the same length as a T-Rex. You could call him the T-Rex of the ocean. Whoa, check him out. <laughs> 
Wow. He's really cool. Do you see that spot on his jaw that looks like a break? It's actually not a break in his jaw, it's a hinge. Tylosaurus could unhinge its jaw to swallow prey whole. Whoa! Did you hear that? Tyler can unhinge his jaw. <laughs> yeah, you've probably seen a hinge before. Yeah, a hinge goes like this. <laughs> Doors have hinges, and Tyler has a hinge for his jaw, so he can open up really wide. <laughs> to eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> well, thank you so much for teaching me all about prehistoric creatures. <laughs> I'll see you later, Laura. Bye. There you go. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking for some more dinosaurs and fossils. <laughs> bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>